Good morning friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a new day. The day the Lord has given us that we may serve him and glorify him and rejoice in him. And experience his love and his presence. We have been considering and meditating on the events in the lives and ministry of Jesus Christ during the Passion Week. And then beyond the Passion Week, the resurrection and uh, certain events connected with that. Today I would like to deal with a very important question that all of us must face and answer for ourselves. It is the question that Jesus Christ asked Peter, his disciples, who denied him, while Jesus Christ was trying to restore him into, a, again, a very strong relationship with him. And the question is this, do you love me? It is hard to imagine a more important question Peter could have faced than whether he truly possessed a love, a devoted love for his master whom he denied just a few days ago. Jesus' repeated question must have puzzled Peter and or even hurt him. But Jesus was gently and compassionately dealing with his disciple and showing his love for Peter. And the question that Jesus asked Peter, Peter, do you truly love me? He asked this question three times. And there are two Greek words Jesus used in the question. The first word he used was agak pao. This means an intelligent, thoughtful, and purposeful love involving the entire personality. I will repeat one more time. Agak pao means an intelligent, thoughtful, purposeful love involving the entire personality. And the second word he used was filio. This word means a warm, natural, and more spontaneous na uh, sense of feeling and affection, a more emotional love. These are the two words that Jesus used in asking this question. By the use of these two words, Jesus is saying to Peter that his love must be more than a commitment of his mind, but also it has to be a commitment of his heart. Where your heart is not involved, you will be half-hearted. It must be a love motivated by both purpose and personal attachment. Now all of Christ's disciples must face the same question. What is the issue involved here? The issue is not, are you willing to do anything for God? Or neither it is, are you willing to love others? But the issue is, the most important question is, do you love Jesus Christ with his whole mind and heart and soul and strength and spirit? That is the issue. And this is the question, do you truly love me, Peter? It means a deep 
and heartfelt love for God is the only effective motivation for serving Him. As Christ followers, our primary calling is to be with Him, to know Him, and to love Him. And out of that love proceeds any service that we want to do for God. And for this, the whole heart and whole personality of a person must be involved in loving Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus chose his disciples that they may be with him. And the more you are with him, the more you begin to love him. And the more you love him, you want to serve him. And the more you serve him, you want to worship him. And the more you worship him, you want to serve him. And the more you serve him, you want to love him. This cycle goes on and on and keep on increasing in our relationship with Jesus Christ. And this is what Jesus exactly mean when he asked. And every disciple of Jesus must face this question sometime or the other in our lives. And again, let me remind you, the issue here is whether you are willing to do more things for God or whether you are willing to love others, these are not the issues. The issue really is whether you sincerely, wholeheartedly, with your whole spirit and emotion and mind, love Jesus. Out of that love relationship comes the motivation and power to fulfill our God-given purposes in life. No matter what the cost we may be, uh, cost may be. No matter what price we may have to pay. Along the way. We will be willing, if that kind of love, is the motivation for our service for God. Now, friends, let me ask you this question this morning. We have been considering the cross and the passion week sufferings that Jesus Christ has gone through and we have been talking so much about the love of God what brought Jesus down from heaven to earth it is the love of God for us and what was the motivation that Jesus had to give his body to be broken and his blood to be shed on the cross. It was again love. It was not ordinary love. It is a love which involved his entire being. And he, he gave himself in totality in order to save us and give us eternal life. So it is easy for us to talk about the love of God and feel uh, an appreciation for such love. The cross itself is a revelation of God's love and it is also a revelation of what this is the worst thing that the devil can do and the best thing what God can do. So it is a revelation of both these things. And we, we meditate on this and we, we appreciate God and we sing praises to him. But when it comes to our personal relationship with Jesus Christ, how much are we willing to give or deny for the sake of maintaining that relationship? What is love? And with this definition, I close today's meditation. The sincere 
love that Jesus talks about is this. It is the understanding, a perfect understanding of someone else's need. And then step in and willing to pay any price in order to meet that need of that person. And that is the love that Good Samaritan showed. That is the kind of love. That's what Jesus did. From heaven he saw the need of humanity. To be freed from the clutches of the evil one. And from the influence of sin. And the power of sin and temptations. And give us that freedom. To know God and love God. And be related to God. He saw that need. Then he stepped in. He did not sit in heaven and shouted from there, I love you. I am sorry for your compassion. I mean, for your, knee, for your troubles. No, he didn't do that. He set aside his divine heavenly glory. And he took upon himself a human flesh. Came down into this sinful, wretched world. And then gave himself totally to meet that need. And only he could have met that need. No one else. And we cannot love Jesus for any less. Are we willing to let our entire being and personality to be involved in loving Jesus? This is the requirement to serve him. May the Holy Spirit grant to us this understanding and examine ourselves and love him so and serve him. May the Lord bless you as you live this day and glorify him. Father in heaven, we are weak people sometimes. But we need your grace. We need your mercies. And we want to serve you, Lord. Not out of compulsion that we have to do something for God. No. That perfect, purposeful, devoted love must be the motivation for serving you and glorifying you. Let that love be poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit and give us that grace. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful good day and live in this relationship of love. Amen.